you know, the, the first trailer, it kind of showed the goofy aspects of the first movie that I liked, and I was like, oh, well, it's back, this is nice and charming, and now the second trailer kind of reminded me of how, like, dumb it is when they, they, they've shown, like, the love interest again and stuff. He pretty much figured out that Venom is a bit of, it's, it's not the best uh, movie franchise ever. <laughs> For a bit, I kind of unironically enjoyed it, because that was the thing, Venom is a great character, and the But movies... it works fundamentally with the... Spider-Man, so even the fact yes. there's a no, sequel the, it was worse. The, the, yeah, exactly, because it's gone, it's gone from Venom fighting another Venom to Venom fighting another Venom, like there's not much to do with it. <laughs> yeah, they, they showed so much in the second trailer, like everyone said it was the better one, because it's like, oh, you, you finally get to see Carnage, and that's what the movie's about, but... You basically know the whole plot to the movie now. It reminds me of Bob Super Mario 3D World, well, where they released the first trailer like in yeah. 2014. Yeah, yeah. And like no one was hyped about it. It was just boring as fuck. But it's just to get me to the final game. You know, to get me to the final game. They've shown Screech a few times, who is going to be like, they're in the poster and stuff, they're going to be the next big reveal. And it's really obvious that's how the movie will end, because Venom and Carnage, the symbiotes, they're certain frequencies, they freak out, that's how they solved the day in the first movie, now they've introduced the character that creates high frequencies, that'll be how the movie He's ends. Like into it. No. It's really it's really easy to like piece it together. Carnage is in Fortnite now, and I've been paying attention to all of the promotional Venom stuff that's been coming out, and I've been like, I won't do a video on it yet. I believe the posters that were in the poster competition did come out. One of the ones was a variation of one of the ones I did show in the video, and there's this one that's literally just an edit of the old Venom poster, but they've made it half carnage, and it looks like, you know, it's a lot of it's very amateur. But it won, what do you mean? Yeah, exactly, yeah. That's the best they had. Yeah, there's been a lot of promotional stuff. They, they have their own G Fuel now. Um, they're in Fortnite, and then today as well they introduced they're going to do a 4D viewing experience where it's like the chairs will shake and stuff. I need to be free. And it, it gives you that little sensation of like maybe I am Venom. Venom is supposed to be felt. Right and a lot of it, a lot of the promotional stuff I think is very revealing of what the creators think of the people who have watched the movies and that's what really bugs me about it. Because it's like, when when they do something dumb in one of those movies, it's not because the creators are stupid, it's because the creators of those movies know the audience is stupid and it just, that really bugs me. Like, because I'm, I'm not stupid, okay? But look, when they know that their target demographic will buy G Fuel, play Fortnite, and is only watching the movie to get like a roller coaster Whoa. experience, <laughs> it's it's really like it, it doesn't say a lot of good things about the movie, you know. Even even with the previous Venom, the fact that Eminem did the the theme and everything, and that was that, like he, people think this is gonna be really cool. I hate that scene really? in the trailer where where he breaks his nose because so <laughs> because they established in the first movie that was their. That was their, like, um, why they were friends, because they're like, I'm a bit of a loser on my planet, too. And now, like, Venom's just being a total dick to him. Like, he, he breaks his nose and everything, and he's like, I'll do it again. It's like, what? what? Like, you'll both die without each other now at this point. <laughs> like, you're, you're bonded. Why are you being cut to yeah, it's, <laughs> uh, it's been all over the place. Once Shang-Chi came out and everyone went to theaters, they decided, oh, we don't need to delay it, because everyone was saying they were going to delay it. And so they moved it all the way forwards to October 1st. But um, apparently in Australia, it's still the original release date, and I think the next thing you'll see of me that I'm related will be the first impressions of the movie. Hopefully, they'll move it forwards. I, I've got low expectations, personally. Uh, yeah. Um, Honestly, I just hope there's like something more than like what we are expecting. I just I hope it's it's bad in an enjoyable way because that's what the first one was. It was like an accidental masterpiece. Like, <laughs> uh, Venom's in the new Spider-Man Spider game. Spider-Man game, yeah. So. No, oh, no, he's the main. Oh, yeah, because I guess. Kramer? Kranen? Kronen? Oh, um, uh. Kramer uh, the Barbarian? Uh, Conan. Conan uh, the Barbarian. <laughs> there was this one leaked image of Andrew Garfield that Sony deleted from a post, so like a, a tweet, so it was like essentially confirmed this is from the set, Andrew Garfield's confirmed. There were people of deep, you know, those like Dumb and Dumb A um, edits? Yeah, where, like, yeah, yeah. They, They've gotten that image and they've made it so it looks like he's talking a little bit. And there's these subtle edits where they've put in 
like the hand of like the Sam Raimi Spider-Man, like in the distance. It so you have like web blood. Uh, from from the perspective of someone who loves garbage Spider-Man movies, I'm interested to see what they do with Electro, of course, because uh, Amazing Spider-Man Two is a, is a guilty pleasure of mine. I think overall, I think um, I'm looking so much more forward to Spider-Man than Of course, Venom. of course. Um, I've seen, I keep thinking of the picture that's like, um, I just hope it lives up to its expectations, its expectations, and it's like, Deadpool's there, uh, yeah, Daredevil's it's... there, Godzilla, all three Spider-Man, every single Spider-Man villain. Yeah, but possibly, the fact that... Possibly Vulture might come back. Um, Mysterio could still possibly be in it. Yeah, there was a hint at Blizzard and Sandman in the trailer. Yeah, so then, if they have all of that, they've got, this, they've got this, their Sinister Six, mm -hmm. an easier way to set up, because that was set up... <laughs> it's like, they, you've got like a Sinister Six or seven. The fact that there's plus three villains, it's like, it's what Spider-Man 3 sucked at, it's what the Amazing Spider-Man 2 sucked at, and they're definitely running on... Like, we did, we did Infinity yeah. War, and we could squeeze that many characters in, and it was solid. So, like, the fact, we've proven we can do that, and now, now it's we're like, this and is the end of it. I thought in the same room, I thought the Sandman was John Cena. That's a sentiment I can get by Sus is king. Seeing this merch. Kanye did an incredible job on this merch, I'm sure we all know. Dude, I, I like some of the Lady Gaga songs. What the fuck does she know about cameras?